Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a super cool project lined up, creating an interactive input field with a smooth click effect and a stylish floating label. Picture this, a form that's not just functional, but alive, with a glowing border and shadow that pops every time you click or focus on the input. The label? Oh, it's floating above with a slick animation, looking all smooth and modern. It's like giving your form a personality. If you love this tutorial, and who wouldn't, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright, let's dive in. <laughs> Now, let's start with the HTML. First up, we've got a div element with the class input group, kind of like the VIP section where everything happens. Inside it, we've got the input element with the class input. This is where your users will type their magic, or, you know, their name and email. And to make sure nobody skips out on filling it in, we add the required attribute. Next, we introduce the label element with the class user label. This label is the superstar that floats above the input field when you interact with it. It's like the label got a lift. That's the basic structure. Let's see how this looks in action. Okay, now it's time for the CSS. We're starting strong with a root variable, hover color, to store the hover color. It's like having a secret stash for your favorite color. Next, we give the body some love. Dark background, 100 VH height to fill the screen, and a flex box setup to center everything. No one likes a messy layout, right? We align everything with justify content and align items, and set the font to poppins, because clean and simple is the way to go. Now, let's target the input group selector. We set its position position to relative so it behaves properly in the layout. No surprises there. Then we move on to the input selector. We give it a sleek 1.5 pixel solid border, rounded corners, border radius, 50 pixels, and no background, because who needs it? Some padding for comfort, a font size of 1 rem for readability, and a light color to keep it fresh. Oh, and here's where we add a smooth transition with a cubic bezier effect for the border change. Pause. Have you ever tried to figure out how cubic bezier works? It's like cooking a perfect souffle. Timing and precision are key. Hit pause, think about it, and drop your thoughts or questions in the comments. Let's decode this tricky part together. Now, onto the user label. We position it absolutely inside the input, like setting a label on a very neat shelf. Shift it left by 15 pixels so it's not crowding the input, and change the color for visibility. We also turn off pointer events. That way, we can click the input without accidentally triggering the label. We use a little transform magic to prevent overlap, and the label gets a smooth transition to make it float gracefully when interacted with. Speaking of floating, how cool is it that the label floats above the input when you click? It's like a magic trick, but with code. When the input gets focused or is valid, we remove the outline, give it a glowing green border, and throw in a nice box shadow for extra emphasis, because, why not? The label? It gets a little lift, too. We use transform to move it up, scale it down to 0.8, and change its background color. Add some padding, adjust the text color, round those corners for smoothness, and finish it off with a glowing box shadow around the label. Now it's shining bright like a web development star, and that's the CSS for our interactive input field with the floating label effect. It's sleek, it's smooth, and it's ready to impress. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're feeling ready to add this snazzy floating label effect to your forms. If you enjoyed this tutorial, and I know you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome web development content. Hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. See you next time and remember, happy coding and don't let the bugs bite.